Thanks for watching Wood and Shop. I'm Joshua Farnsworth. Uh, in this desk build video, I, I in the last video I just showed you how to um, cut down to the shoulder line here. Did it on both sides. Now let's take a little bit closer look and cut. Use a tenon saw to cut down and cut these cheeks off. So the first thing that you'll do, you can see I've already done it on this side, is stick your knife there in the knife line you created, well, in the marking gauge line, and go straight down, and then come back at an angle, just kind of like when we were doing the shoulders down here. That's to give a place for the saw to rest, and that gives you a more accurate cut. Okay, and then you can take a rip saw. A rip saw has chisel-like teeth as opposed to the knife-like teeth that you use here on the carcass saw to go across the grain. See this cross-cut saw, rip saw, right? Rip saw, and this is kind of overkill for this small of a tenon. You can see the shoulder line is pretty up high, but it makes it a lot faster. But if you, if you don't have a big tenon saw like this, you don't want to buy one right off the bat, you can still use if you have a little dovetail saw as long as the blade uh, as long as it's uh deeper than where you're going to cut you can use that but to speed things up i'm going to use this tenon saw i love this tenon saw so i'm going to set that right in there and i'm going to loosen my hands on the saw and i'm actually going to go at an angle kind of a 45 degree angle and i want to what i want to do is i want to make sure that i'm hitting but not going over that line on both sides. So I'm keeping a constant watch. And I'm blowing that sawdust off so I can see where I'm going. It's like windshield wipers. And so my goal is to kind of get about halfway here, the when I hit, get about to hit that shoulder line right there. I can do the same thing on this side real fast. And invariably, you'll get off a little bit if you're not paying attention like I wasn't, but that's best to get, if you're gonna get off, get off outside into the wayside and uh, we'll be able to clean it up with a router plane in the next step. So let me run around here and hit it from the other side and do the same thing. Tight this down. When you're filming a video, sometimes you don't pay attention to uh, <laughs> everything. This one looks pretty good. And then stick it in. Final curve there. And I'm getting close to that line over here. I'm going to stop. So essentially what it's done inside of there is it's created a triangle like that on both sides. And what that does is you've got these nice curves on both sides to guide you down. So then you don't have to watch your line very much. So as long as you get over, well, it looks like I was off a little bit. Oh, no, there we go. So now... You can see it's just following down through these curves. So I'll keep a close eye over here. Looks like I can go down a little bit over here. And be careful. And then see how that's close? You don't want to go past your line. So I I'll take my crosscut saw again, my carcass saw here, and stick it back in its curve. And I'll usually, I'd usually take it out of the vise, but I just want to be able to show you so you can see it a little bit better. And just, you can take a couple passes there. See if that's gonna loosen up and take a couple passes there. And it will pop right off like that. Okay, and you can do it on the other side. And then once we've got that, I'll come back and we'll clean this up with a router plane. This is a really neat trick that not everybody knows. And we'll, 
it will give you very clean and accurate tenons. If you're interested in learning traditional woodworking with hand tools, visit my website at woodandshop.com where you'll find free video tutorials, buying guides, workshop tours, and reviews. Make sure you subscribe to receive my regular blog posts and YouTube videos, and don't forget to check out my 10 steps for getting started. Enjoy!